Mary Finch, would you uh, call Sunset Bob? I need to get to the dentist. Uh, would you have him bring the shuttle over? The signal shuttle before we do away with that. Um, I need to get to the dentist before I come out to visit Merlo. And uh, by the way, call Sunset Bob and uh, have him get another picture up there at the Sunset Transit Center for me. I want to look good all the time. Thanks, Mary. Today, uh, one of my customers brought me breakfast. Uh, they, do, they do things like that for all of us, for us, me and Mort, all the time, don't they? Yeah, Mort? Hey, you, just you. Look at that breakfast. Wow, we got coffee here. Girl? No, this is from the hospital. This is from uh, St. Vincent's. Oh. Does that look good? Wow, look at what that. What is that? Is that lady? Yeah, it's a lady that's in the van right now. Well, I have to take her home. Well, why are you getting in the breakfast? I beat you here. <laughs> I picked her up this morning, so uh, very nice people up here, Chuck, just showing their appreciation for the shuttle. And uh, they have more gifts for you, Fred, I guess. You know, last time you visited, they had gifts for you. And even though uh, you're talking about doing away with the shuttle, they still uh, love you and they still have gifts for you because they know that you're trying with the uh, fixed route or whatever. They're still trying to pull your leg to keep the shuttle service there because it does uh, so much more work for them. But. Same amount of drivers, same amount of time, but uh, the fixed route is less in the fact that it doesn't service them and it's the, frequent, the service isn't as frequent. So they're figuring if you've got the same manpower, the same money, why can't you keep the shuttle? Anyway, they're, they have some gifts for you. They're going to try to win your heart. Anyway, they're uh, treating us good here at the uh, Sunset Transit Center. Hello, Sunset Bob. Hello, Sunset Bob. Oh, hi, Peggy. Oh, no, you didn't catch me at that time. No, I'm just reviewing some of our employee notices, uh, what's going on here at TriMet. Yeah, I did get a, uh, something from you the other day. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, just reviewing from our manager standpoint what's going on, keeping up with the news. You want me to... Uh, Okay, Fred Hansen's picture needs to be cleared up. There's got to be no disrespect. We have a respectful workplace. Some of the operators have, uh, okay, I'll get right on it. it Maybe uh, messed up his face a little bit. Okay, well, you're going to have to take him to the dentist and get those those uh, teeth fixed so we, uh, we can put up a, a new updated picture. Okay, I'll get, I'll get right on that and uh, check out the Sunset Transit Board. Make sure we have uh, respectful uh, pictures and remarks up there. All right, Peggy, thank you. All right, well, we'll see you Thursday. All right, say hi to uh, Stephen Banta and, and uh, Fred for me, and, and I'll be there with the shuttle, too, to get him to the uh, dentist. Okay, bye now. Oh, well, looks like we got to put up a new picture of Fred. We uh, had some operators there that were a little upset over the budget cuts, service cuts, as well as the bonuses. So, um, yeah, this is what we'll do. Can't wait to see him come back, Operator of the Year Awards. And uh, Stephen, uh, nobody messes with Stephen. I don't know, maybe the picture. But Fred's our leader and is one that's ultimately responsible for TriMet. So decisions and uh, policies start with him. Let's get, his, let's get his new picture up there so we can get this uh, happy, uh, respectful place.